For this homeschooling mother of three, the back patio is the classroom. About George Washington and his birthday. Mandy Comforth doesn't have individual desks or chairs, so when she learned the Bohemia School had tossed outdated school furniture, she was furious. They probably had some value to someone, and it's pairs that probably should have been offered to the public first before recycling them or throwing them out. You could actually see desks piled. Conforth's friend Tammy Evans watched last Friday as garbage crews trucked away three 30-yard dumpsters filled with desks, chairs, and bookcases. And I thought, what a huge waste, you know. And then they constantly scream for, well, we need more money, we need more money. Well, you had more money right there. We asked the school district why they did what they did with the desks, and here's what they say. When the Delight Valley School closed earlier this year, they took that furniture here to the Bohemia School. The Delight School furniture replaced the furniture here at Bohemia School, furniture the school district said was old and outdated. They later took that and threw it in the dumpster. There's a great opportunity next for the so-called accountability question. When you're the voice of the viewer, you win viewers over. Unfortunately, we lost Kelly's accountability question, perhaps because of technical problems. It was a big missed opportunity. It has no impact on the budget whatsoever. You know, Superintendent Parent says with the second-hand items, Bohemia School had a chance to get rid of 40-year-old furniture. And with only three district maintenance workers, she says there wasn't enough manpower to sell the items to the public. Could we have offered those out for general public sell? Yeah, but you know, again, that takes staff time and we didn't do that. We're all making cuts. We're all clipping coupons. We're all, you know, making, adding patches to jeans to make them last longer. I would hope that they would make do with what they have as well. And so, so we spoke with South Lane Garbage Services today and found out it cost $500 to move one 30-yard dumpster. Again, the school filled three. It's also important to note that the garbage service took it upon themselves to separate the woods and metals so that the furniture could be recycled. So Kelly, did, is it pretty typical for schools to reshuffle things when something like this happens? You know, with budgets the way that they are, it is quite typical. There's a website that some schools post items on. Think of it like a Craigslist for schools. Bohemia School did put some items on that site, but then later decided just to get rid of them. They wouldn't tell me how long the items were posted. I did try to talk to officials at the school, not just the superintendent, but they wouldn't let our camera pass the office, and they wouldn't let us look at any of their furniture. All right. Thank you, Kelly. We first heard about this story from the KVAL tip line. If you have a new story to share, we'd like to hear it. Call the KVAL tip line, 541-685-KVAL. That's 541-685-5825. Here are key points. This is the type of story viewers love because you're exposing what appears to be tax money wasted. The highlight for viewers is usually the reporter's accountability question. Viewer interest spikes and they start to remember the reporter. Overall, a well-done story on a hot topic, making effective use of on-camera storytelling to avoid generic video. Congratulations, Kelly.